Hey guys, welcome to Unplugged Performance. My name is Luke, and today we're gonna to be installing our adaptive suspension error canceller kit on this 2024 Model 3 Performance. When replacing the stock dampers on a 2024 Model 3 Performance with an aftermarket solution, you need to take into account that there is an electrical solenoid that the computer is actually looking for and needs that same feedback. So you want to ensure that you're essentially providing that same electrical profile. Anytime that there is a signal that varies from what is expected from the factory shock, then it can throw the car into limp mode. And limp mode for this car is essentially a top speed cap of 90 miles an hour, as well as your car is actually not able to enter into track mode. And our solution to this is an error canceller kit. And this includes two front emulators, two rear emulators, and mounting hardware. Unplugged Performance Error Canceller Kit offers a compact, lightweight, and electrically efficient solution. This kit was developed over the past few months with rigorous testing on both street and track. The integrated mounting solution offers a straightforward installation while reducing the opportunity for error during installation. Now, let's go ahead and install the kit. For viewing purposes, we've removed the front shock so that you can go ahead and see us install the canceller kit on the front end of the car. Now, in theory, if you have your aftermarket suspension already pre-installed onto the car, you do not need to remove that suspension in order to install this canceller kit. All right, now when it comes to mounting, I find it easiest to use the canceller itself. Now, the clip does add about 10 mil-ish to the length of this, so you wanna account for that and basically slide this canceller towards the back of the car with the gator clip, just to see how spacing looks because you wanna make sure that you have at least 10 mil clearance here to ensure the clip can actually connect there. Set the gator clip into position. I'm going to now remove the canceller and mount the gator clip onto the chassis right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and install the adaptive damper cable and tuck that cable behind the fender liner here, and then we will guide the two legs of this canceller, this front canceller unit over the gator clip, and then we will pull the zip tie through. Once that's properly fastened, you can go ahead and cut away the excess of the zip tie, and your canceller is now installed. And now that we've installed the front canceller, we can go ahead and move on to the rear. All right, now that we have the rear adaptive damper cable removed from the shock itself, we're actually gonna be reusing this same mounting tab right here where this plastic grommet used to, used to live and that's where the canceller itself is going to exist. Now one thing to keep in mind is the distance that the actual connection point used to travel all the way to the front of the shock now is much shorter and we will have a lot of access cable. So in order to take care of this access cable that we have here, we're actually gonna remove the push clips on the bottom side of the fender liner and then we will wrap the additional material or the additional cable here to this uh, parking brake cable. In order to install this zip tie properly and allow the zip tie to seat properly in both of these ridges on the side, you wanna ensure that you are actually coming from the front side of this tab here as opposed to on the back side. And there's a little step on the inside of the slot on the actual rear canceller itself, which will push the zip tie outward. So first, you want to slide the canceller into the slot and then you wanna push the zip tie through that center slot, bring it around, hold it in place, and then you can begin to fasten accordingly like so, and then we can cut off the excess material. Now that we have the canceller mounted in the rear accordingly, we're actually going to pull the excess cable back through like so, and then we are going to plug the cable in the red tab will be facing outward for this install and you will hear it click when it's fully installed. Now that we have it properly plugged in, this is the additional material that we are going to essentially loop and then connect behind this tab that connects the, uh, or that holds the electrical line to the brake system so that it's not in the way of anything that, is, that has dynamic movement and it's also away from anything that carries any type of heat. All right, now that we have everything looped accordingly, we're going to essentially zip or throw a zip tie through here. Tighten like so and ensure that we have a little bit of slack on the cable itself. It going in both directions, but obviously not enough slack to get in the way of anything that's moving dynamically, such as this brake line, as well as the spring itself. 
Now that we have all of our cables organized the way that we want and out of the way of anything that's moving dynamically, we can go ahead and reinstall the push clips in our fender liner and there we go, there we have it. Alrighty guys, that concludes our installation guide for the Adaptive Suspension Error Canceler Kit. If you guys are interested in this product for your Tesla Model 3 Performance, it's available on our website at unplugperformance.com. If you guys have any questions about this product or any other products that we offer, go ahead and comment below. See you guys in the next one.